Hey, welcome back to Hostess Coach. Tonight we're going to be making a quick and easy weeknight meal and making a little twist on the original. We are going to make ground beef stroganoff. So here in my pan, I've just started here. I've got about a pound of ground beef in the pan, gets, getting that started. And then I'm going to drop some noodles into some boiling water here because it shouldn't take me more than a few minutes to get this done. So we've got our ground beef going in here. Just got started. I sprayed a little bit of avocado oil in the bottom of the pan just so our meat doesn't stick. But getting this started, this induction cooktop is very hot, so it should get this done liggety split. So I think this, like regular beef stroganoff, is usually better when you make it the day before and let all those flavors meld. But we are making it quick and easy here tonight. Something else to do with ground beef or ground chicken, ground turkey, ground pork, whatever you've got on hand. Um, but always looking for something new, quick and easy. And this is one of those recipes. So I'm gonna add to it. I have about a half of a white, um, excuse me, yellow onion that I diced pretty small. So we'll put that in and let that get going. Oh my gosh, it smells so good already. And we'll get that sauteing. Oh my gosh. I'll show you what we got going in there. Of course, many thanks to a super fan who gave us this induction cooktop because he wants me facing the camera, not with my back to you at the stove. But I'll turn my back here for a sec and just give those noodles a little stir. So they are cooking away. You can serve this over whatever noodles, rice. You could do some cooked cabbage or some cooked Brussels sprouts if you're trying to go low carb. Of course, beef stroganoff is good on everything, but I am gonna serve it tonight over some noodles. Of course, love those thick egg noodles to serve it with, but I'm gonna serve it over some long noodles because that's what I had in my cabinet today. So got all the onions in there. Those are starting to get a little translucent and see all the water coming out of that meat. <laughs> a little facial too while we're at it. Oh my gosh. But I know I read so many recipes and this one I had never made beef stroganoff with ground beef so I thought let's Give it a whirl and something new and different to do with ground beef. So yes sirree. Okay, so now I'm going to add to that. I'm going to add a couple cloves of garlic. And of course you always measure garlic with your heart. And I usually measure it a little heavy handed because we love it and I feel like it cooks down so much. And you put it in there. I am gonna add a little bit of Worcestershire shire, maybe a heavy tablespoon, and let that flavor get in the meat. And let that continue to cook. Oh my gosh, smells so good. Got our onion, garlic, and the meat cooking away there. So we'll let that go for a second. Okay, to this, I'm gonna add a package here. I just have a package of sliced mushrooms. Now, if you want them smaller, you can cut them down smaller, but I'm just gonna throw them in there because I feel like they cook down so much anyway when you cook them down that I just leave, uh, leave them sliced. But if you want them smaller, go for it. Chop them up a little smaller. We'll get those in there. And the mushrooms, as they cook down, they'll release some water out of them, which is great, will be great for our sauce because all the liquid is good for flavor. Yummy. So you see in there, we've got our mushroom sauteing. They're breaking down. Looks delish, smells delicious. 
Oh my gosh. Yum. So now, to this, I'm gonna add um, about two tablespoons or so of flour, just to create some roux to make our sauce from. So I will saute that for a couple of minutes. So you get rid of that raw flour taste. So let that go. Make sure I've got all the white parts of that flour incorporated. And it's getting cooked up there, absorbing all the yummy flavors. Let that cook for a second. Then I'm going to add to that a can of beef stock. Oh my gosh. Yum! So we're going to let that start to do its job and thicken up in there. And I'm going to add a little bit of fresh ground pepper. We like pepper around here, so can almost never have too much of that for us. So a few turns of pepper, and then I'll put a little bit of salt. The beef stock has salt too, so I'll go easy on the salt here, but I want to make sure we put some. So a couple of turns of salt in there. Get my, let's check on our noodles. Our noodles are ready. So I am going to dump the, no the, no the noodles real quick into the colander. And we'll just give those a sec to sit there while we are waiting for our stroganoff. And it's thickening up nicely. Oh my gosh, looks so good. Now if you aren't making this in a hurry like I am, you could let this simmer for a little bit. But we are moving right along here. Oh my gosh, smells good. Let me show you what it looks like because we're getting a nice thick sauce here. And it's so quick, 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 quick. So if you can see, we've got our mushrooms, the beef, the onions, the sauce is thickening up, looks great. And I will let that go for another minute or so. Now some recipes I've seen and um, they call for whipping cream and all kinds of things that I am leaving out. I'm gonna stir in a little sour cream here in a second as soon as I take it off the heat to make it creamy. Um, but I always try and cut whipping cream out whenever I can because it's just very very high in calories so I try only to use it on special occasions, like on top of pumpkin pie. <laughs> so this is looking good. I am gonna take this off the heat to stir in our sour cream, and then we are ready. And that is it, quick and easy, ground beef stroganoff. Something new to do with ground meat and something everybody loves, right? So let me uh, pull this off the heat here. I guess I'm done with my facial. <laughs> and I will pull this off. You can see we've got a nice thick sauce here. Let me taste it real quick for salt. Make sure before I put the sour cream in that we have good flavor going on here. Very hot, very hot. Mmm, delish. It is good. Mmm. I have about a half a cup of sour cream. We are gonna throw in there. And we are gonna stir that in. You guys can see. I'm gonna stir in the sour cream. 
Oh my goodness. Delicious. And that, my friends, is quick and easy beef stroganoff with ground beef, an easy weeknight meal that everybody will love. And let me serve some up here. Oh my gosh. Can you see how delish this looks? Look at that. And I'm gonna get my noodles in a bowl here. So let's get some noodles. Woo! I've got some noodles in our bowl and I will take the spoon first because we are eating it. And I will serve up some of this deliciousness on top of our noodles. Oh my goodness. And look at that finished product. Ground beef stroganoff over noodles. Let me know if you try it. This is a quick and easy one I know you'll love. And you know, we always appreciate it when you come and watch, like and share our videos and come back and visit us at Hostess Coach. We love to see you here.